and tons of gold crypto investing bell notifications, subscribe and share. As we push our way to 10,000 followers, the old-fashioned way with truth, integrity, education, and inform and information, most importantly, to help you uh, acquire your assets and what we have dubbed here at the Central Coast Crypto Investing Asset Acquisition, right? That's the phase you need to be in. The education and information and knowledge uh, turned out into asset acquisition. You need to acquire assets that pay you. Rent, pay you. Cash flow, pay you. Dividends, return of value to your money uh, based on what you have. Did you buy a business that sells a product that produces a profit? Asset, you see the U.S. dollar is down a quarter percent. After having some volatile up and down swings, you can see in the last month it had a big pump and now it's starting to consolidate a little bit after it was at about a 10 and a half month low in the U.S. dollar. But as we were talking about, do you have a business that sells a product that produces a profit that pays you cash flow? Do you have an apartment complex that you lease out and rent out the units in there that generate the cash flow by tenants sending you money each month for rent? And then a percentage of that, if you have a good deal, it's profit, right? Cash flow. Do you have assets that are doing that, right? Do you have a way to keep your money working for you? And the major uh, common ways as the Bitcoin price, you can see, has been skyrocketing. Uh, some people buy stock, crypto, right, as an asset because uh, they're hoping for appreciation. But the cash flowing part of stock, or if you buy a solid business that has profit and a strong future profit and future growth and future market share, uh, they pay you a dividend each month, each quarter, right? In some cases, 6 7%. That's cash flow on your stock. Not only do you get appreciation if it goes up, but even if it temporarily goes down, you're still getting cash flow from it because they're sending you a dividend payment and yield, right? You can see the Bitcoin price at 24259 It's running up against that major upper resistance that's been there since if we look at the weight, we're going to the or excuse me, <laughs> I sniff out and smell a mistake. The way we're left machine, you can see that was major upper resistance when we were in this most recent bear flag after a great dump uh, in June. Not June, what am I talking about? After a great dump uh, in, yeah, June, early to mid June, we had a flush, and then we were in a very long bear flag, right? Just like we were in a bear flag there, and a much, much, much bigger bear flag way back there at the start of it, as we're continuing to die out the volume, constrict the highs and lows in a continuous down fashion with moderate pumps in between, right? And then we traded out of that and stayed along that 16,117. And it's very important as major resistance right there. Uh, it's very important to take note of this. Notice how when you trade through, like I always bring this up, when you trade down through this blue area, straight flush. Not a lot of volume in here. Conversely, when you trade back up through it, big moves, quick moves, not a lot of volume in there. You know, it's very important, just like you should take in what we're talking about, about asset acquisition and asset acquiring and the cash flow game uh, and uh, the, the assets returning money into your pocket uh, is what you need to do. And if you're not doing that and you're not being educated on the set assets and timely market buying uh, and what assets and what uh, part of the sector you should be in at any given time, that's what you need to be doing just as you need to be watching that uh, major upper resistance at 24,259.08. If you get rejected, you're trading back down to the 19,049.13. If you get some kind of crazy pump to the upside and you break 24,000, 29,829, 2369 cents is where I think this bull, this bull market rally, this bear market rally would come to an end right here or very near there uh, if it did get that high. And on the breakdown, you would come down to this major underneath support at 19,049 and change. And if you broke through that, you would flush immediately down to that 16,117.69, right? So that's what we're looking at there. Hit that subscribe button. Join the top of the line, uh, most informative and educational uh, episode, a new series that we're on episode four now, and our new episode that comes out 
how to identify common crypto scams, common crypto and real estate scams that get uh, average uh, retail traders and investors and wipe them out and uh, fleece them out of their hard-earned fucking money that they're trying to invest. I help you look out and understand the signs, symptoms, and smells of what common, uh, and you'd be surprised how, whether it's a YouTube uh, crypto scam, a real estate scam, a stock scam, a mentoring scam, uh, a religious scam, or whatever, you'd be surprised how common uh, the methods that they use are all very, very similar. They just change and repackage it into whatever scam they're trying to push at any given time, but it's remarkably similar in each and every one of them. And I've started to expose, showing you from the Tom Boot system. But the XRP got rejected, uh, just like the Tom Boot system got rejected uh, in the 90s crash, the dot com crash, right? Uh, we got rejected off this descending triangle that we formed. If we take a look here in the daily time frame that we formed here ever since the great uh, May dump, right? We've been in this consolidation and we've got hit by overhead resistance, but the Tom Boot system uh, got flushed out of the market and got caught with his pants down and exposed as a scammer and a charlatan and a snake oil salesman, just as uh, the XRP price got rejected at the upper part of this upper resistance. Uh, below the 51 cent major upper resistance, we got rejected at about the 40 to 41 cent level. Again, and we've been consolidating there just above the 200 day moving average, hanging on for dear life. That's Carl from the moon and I'm on crypto uh, that I've shown you how they're using the same basic tactics and Kevin O'Leary, uh, even Grant Cordon and Grant Cordon Capital and University, they're all using the same uh, similar setup. And XRP, if it continues to follow that, like Grant Cardone, the Scientologist that is literally playing a billionaire funneling money by the hundreds of millions, allegedly uh, to Scientology. as the biggest spokesperson and the biggest um, money man, the money uh, raiser and the biggest seller in uh, this time that we're in now is Grant Cardone for uh, Scientology. We need to hit that upper resistance or, or lower support at 37 cents in the XRP price if we want to stay bullish. And if we break that, we're coming down to 29 to 32 cents if we get ultimately bullish. Like Grant Cardone's trying to continue the momentum with what I believe is nothing more than a modified uh, crypto scam in the real estate market now where they're crowdfunding and raising money and promising big returns and uh interest payments each month based on what I believe is just new hype and new money coming in to pay old money. And as soon as the hype dies down, the real estate market even pains, interest rates continue to rise. Uh, that thing, I believe, is going to all come unglued. And so could the cryptocurrency market if it breaks that red support area of the BP volume indicator and gets below 29 cents, then you have a much, much bigger fall. Like, subscribe, and share as we continue to update you on the ever-changing cryptocurrency market. Peace and love.